All right. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, thank you very much for staying with me if you did for that. I literally forgot to eat my sandwich like three hours ago. And when Ike arrived, it was just like, oh, Ike's here. Can't eat a sandwich when Ike's here. Anyway, if you've just tuned in and are expecting the pole tanks, don't worry, the best is yet to come. Oh, hello. Hard shot to hit this. Oh no, I'm going to lose another game. I felt like I gave it a pretty good go. Unfortunately, none of my shells really did anything super special. And the enemies weren't really doing that many stats in place, so GG to them. They deserve to win this one. Think about it, actually, 1,400 is pretty piss poor. Got something that might interest you. I tell you what isn't piss poor, though, is Prince Boule. Why would you gift another 25 subs, you maniac? That's 200 subs this month. Obviously, you really want to start these uh, pole tanks off, right? Thank you very much to you, Prince Boule. Appreciate it. 25 additional scubs. Scubs? Subs. So I actually did 1,700 damage there, so I guess I hit some kind of blind damage that we didn't see. Huh. Disappointing game, though, honestly, for me. All right, anyway, poll tanks are clogged. Let's start with the K91 Welcome. PT, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The K91 PT is a tier 9 Soviet tank destroyer. And I at, one, I, I at one point was thinking this was going to be like one of the most overpowered tanks that I was going to play inside the game. Um, a lot of that comes down to the concealment. Come I can get 40% concealment time. when I'm moving and 58% concealment when I'm stationary. And then the other build that I have on this vehicle, I still have very good concealment, but I have the durability device to go with it as well. But thank you very much to you, Prince Boulay. I really don't deserve the generosity, um, but I just truly hope that you feel like you're having fun with the stream. Thank you very much, Prince Boulay. Oh, absolute insanity. 50 gifted subs today, man. I don't know why, but thank you, sir. And a massive thank you to you, Mimuna. Thanks for continuing with sub. Uh, C Wanakot, thank you very much to you for being new Super Prime. CMCM, thank you. Total Newbie, thank you. Petri Even Eden, thank you. Alrighty then, boys and girls. Do I want camo on this, on this map, or do I want durability? I feel like this is more of a durability map. Let's go durability. All right, so K91 PT. This thing is actually incredibly good with regards to damage per minute. It's got pretty good upper hull armor, which is seriously troll. And the vehicle's not slow. Got some rare what is this? Sales, what is this? Is this because I streamed six days in a row like an absolute sweat lord? Well, you know what? I'll accept it. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate it, McQuack. Thank you. Very kind of you. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, pretty much 80 hours or 80 hours of streaming over the last six days or whatever it's been. I'm very much looking forward to taking a couple of days off. I'm going to take uh, Wednesday, Thursday off this week. Tomorrow is Tanya's birthday, so I'm looking forward to spending the day with Tanya on her birthday. Got lots of things planned. Then Thursday I'm going to take the day off and then I'm going to do Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is what my stream schedule is going to be. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it, McQuack. Thank you for those 10 gifted subs. And... I hope you're going to enjoy all of the polls. All of the poll tanks. Thank you, McQuack. 
damn. Total newbie, what's up as well? Alrighty then, boys and girls. So this is a very weird game where nobody's really got spotted down this flank. I do have the durability device on this vehicle. Usually I try to outspot my opponents in this vehicle, but there's no real opportunity to outspot them. Oh no, I didn't just get Branson Pickle in my eye, did I? I kind of did. Oh god. Should be okay. Oh, that's kind of spicy. I can be a pirate for the rest of the stream. Do you do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Alright, uh... So, weird game so far. Very weird game. I'm just gonna boost up here. Honk. So unlucky. Mate, don't mess with me. Leave while you still got hit points. Come back any time. The only thing that sucks about this tank is the aim time. Literally. It's like one of the only few balancing features of the tank. I think this thing is broken as good. K91 PT equals the K91 Pirate. Yar. Pirate's life for you, is it? How mobile is this tank, by the way? <laughs> it's basically a medium without a turret. So if you're a cheeky mother buzzer like I am, it's a very good tank. If you're cheeky, like Scrubby Baby is, then this vehicle will do very, you'll do very well in this vehicle. Very well in this vehicle. Great DPM. Great mobility. Welcome. Yeah, if you could not do that, that would be really nice. I'm not going to be nice to you now, trust me. Angry at me, there's more tanks to kill you, donkey. That SU-12244 pushed me over to the side to steal that one. As soon as somebody does that, if they get in my space like that, I'm not nice to them anymore. I know how to be a complete dickhead, and I will be a complete dickhead after somebody steals something off me like that. Ha <laughs> ha. Villain. Yeah, I'll turn from a hero into a villain for sure when people do that to me. Anyway, K91PT. Good stuff. 
It's actually a very good tank. Very good tank. You should do well in it. If you're a sneaky player, you'll do well in it. Next up, you've all voted for the T-34. This is the Tier 8 American heavy tank. Looks like we actually hit a blind shot as well. Pretty good game. <laughs> Karma. Uh, so yes, the Tier 8 American heavy tank, the T-34. Is it a good one? Ah, it's okay. I don't think anyone would ever choose to play this, but it's not the worst thing you'll ever play in your life. T-34 is your favorite? Your favorite? Is it your favorite? Tiger, what's up? Thank you. Says, hey, Ez. How you doing? And once again, a massive thank you to you. Prince Boulay, thank you very much to you for the ludicrously generous 25 gifted subs. And thank you to McQuack for the McQuackers gifted sub of, of 10. Thank you, sirs. All right, what am I going to do on this map? Ah, uh, tier 10s. Blech. I go hill? Probably still go hill. This game's looking like it's going to be a rough one. They've got more 54s than us. Well, let's make the difference here. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like I use my uh, American T-57 Heavy crew in this vehicle and not my T-125 crew. This was your favorite so many years ago. So many years ago. The game was originally balanced and all that. You can't see the tank after the uh, BFM. Yeah, that's because you see 10. If you want to know what tank it's going to be, you should go check out on Twitter. You can always check on Twitter or Facebook to see what vehicles are coming up in total. If you didn't watch when the pole tanks were revealed. I'd be so annoyed if I was that E50. This game is not going very well for our team. Oh, 
That looks a little... A little dangerous. I think there's something a little spicy coming up behind us. I'm happy with that, man. 2,000 damage is fine for a T-34, and I did it to tanks that were higher tier than me, including three shots into an AMX M454. Well played to the enemy team for having the better tanks. GG. Alrighty then, now we're going to be playing in the IS-2. So this has got a dash in it, which means that it's Soviet, I guess, and not the Chinese one, because the Chinese one, I believe, doesn't have a dash, as far as I can remember. So, tier 7... Soviet heavy, I believe, the IS-2. Wait a minute, it could be the... Pr no, it is actually the premium version, isn't it? The Chinese one doesn't have a dash, as far as I can remember. We need to check, though. Yeah, there is no... The Chinese one... Oh, wait, how am I meant to know whether it's the premium Soviet one or the Chinese one now? That looks like the Chinese one. There is actually... This is an IS-2... And this is an IS-2. How are you meant to know the difference? Alright, well, I presume you voted for the Chinese one, then. Alright, so this is the IS-2. Uh, I'm going to use vents with a gun rammer and an aiming device on this vehicle to try and help out with the, uh, the poor accuracy. Although a turbo would work well on this thing as well. You think this thing is trash? On my free-to-play account, this thing actually did very well. Can I tell you what equipment I recommend for the VZ-44-1? Um... Yes, uh, I personally, on the VZ-44-1, liked to use vents, gun rammer, and a turbo. But you should do whatever you think works for you. Play both? No. You're being chilling, are you? Like your ice cream. That's good. Alrighty then, let's make our way up towards the east. Up towards the east. Equipment for VZ-55. I like vents, turbo gun rammer. Sorry, vents, turbo vent stabs on that tank. Alrighty then. So the IS-2, tier seven Chinese heavy. Pretty weird vehicle. Basically just a big old gun. I just gotta take it into position and hope that I can slap it out with some tanks. I have a terrible match up here, but I guess I've just gotta live with it. My char has crossed. Oh god. I love the new track physics. Look at that. Pretty cool. Yo, I don't know what to do. I feel like their BZ-58s have just crossed very early. I think I'm going to go east, I guess, and try and just be like a support tank. This looks like an absolute nightmare game. If we win this, I will be incredibly surprised. I will be incredibly surprised. Basically, the enemy team has just completely outpositioned us. Completely outpositioned us. Aim circle size of an RT? Sure, and this is with an aiming device. I'm using vents and an aiming device? This is this is a very accurate IS-2. Sure, I don't have vert stab, so moving will be bad, but when I'm fully aimed, it could be okay. Oh god, that gun depression is, well, depressing. Panthea, you may, might try and have a bit of a poke. I should spot him. Oh my god, what are those TNHs doing behind me? Jesus, this game, dude. Jesus, this game. Sit there. 
How can you see me? No, they can still see me from down below. Have mercy! From one Chinese heavy to another. Have mercy, sir. Oh, how am I still spotted? Oh, what are you all doing to me? I just want to play World of Tanks, man. I'm just a poor tier 7 heavy playing some World of Tanks. Won't you please just let me do my thing, Mr. T29? No, from one being chilling to a no. Oh, what was I meant to do, dudes? Terrible plus two matchmaking, two games in a row with absolute turkey teams. All right. Anyway, now we're going to be playing in the Valentine. Now, is this the tier three or is it the tier... Four. It's actually the tier four, and it looks like it's the Soviet version of the Valentine, but actually that looked like the British version of the Valentine, even though it's not at tier four anymore. I think he voted for the tier three one, honestly. that If it was tier four, I think it's like a different look, as far as I can remember. Hold on. Let me see if I can prove it. Can I prove it? Um, hold on. Uh, fine. Val... Ah, it's called the Valentine 2 and the regular Valentine. So, yeah, okay, cool. So, you've actually voted for the Tier 3 Valentine, which used to be a Tier 4. This thing's crazy OP. Uh, it's probably one of the best... Uh, probably one of the best tanks tier for tier in the game, I'd say. Uh, you basically just have to load a lot of gold with it. 